A cargo plane with Russians on board has been shot down in Sudan, Russian media reported on Monday. Sudanese militants, previously pro-government paramilitary organization Rapid Reaction Forces has claimed responsibility for the downing of the plane. One of the killed persons has been identified as Viktor Granov, the chief engineer of Airline Transport Incorporation, Russian media reported. There were several other colleagues with Granov on the plane. Russian embassy in Sudan has stated that they were in contact with local authorities and were finding out all the details of the incident. Ukrainian media has claimed that IL-76 was carrying weapons from the UAE to separatists in Sudan. Footage from the crash site of the IL-76 cargo plane, which crashed this morning in Sudan has been circulated in media. Earlier, Russian media and bloggers wrote documents of two Russian citizens were found in crash site. According to media reports, the plane was chartered by the UAE and based at Manas International Airport in Kyrgyzstan's capital Bishkek. According to initial media estimates, the plane was delivering aid from the UAE to Chad, but was shot down by friendly fire. It is not yet known exactly how many people were on board of the plane that was downed in Darfur where military operations are taking place. زايلة ربانة الردة الجديدة وصلت تج بالليل نجقمك تج نهار نجقمك ما في لك طريقة وران خلاص تاني خلاص درفور تحرم عليك الشمال عصية الشمال عصية بتاع طياره في زول داير يزبل الله اكبر والله الحمد الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر دي كرامه كيكه لا جماعه دي الكرامه لكيكه لا جماعه اكرام كيكه الله اكبر والله الحمد وزاد ما فز من الطيران اخاف من الطيران لكن ده الطيران اللي خفت منها كيكه اللي انا انتهينا من الراجع الناس قالوا افتكرين كيكه تسلم فوق لا كيكه كيكه ده العكسي كيكه ده اخاف فوق بس يا كيكه ابي كيكه كيف عليك على الطيران ده دولة ذات الدولة بذات نفسها ها من محل الأساس داك ولا غاية نهايتها ها ماشي كيلو كامل دي الطيران دي الطيران البشتة نهنا في دارفور وفي الجزيرة وفي البلاد المتحررة لك للمواطنين لما جانا نحن اهو وريناهم البيان بالعمل والله البيان بالعمل هاي جبان يا اهو دي بتاخده هاي دي بتاخده هاي البيان بالعمل بارك الله فيكم وديكم العافيه واقول لكم لقدام وبشروا بخير ان شاء الله الاساتذه ما دام شغالين هاي اركضوا قفا اركضوا قفا الناس القائد ودلوهم الوصيه شوفوا اخوانكم بيشتغلوا بيسوي شنو ما نايمين نهايه شغالين هاي امنع النوم وبلغ وحدتك بلغ وحدتك القضية ثم القضية ثم القضية وتعم الجاهزية وتعم الجاهزية ما تنوم ساكت يا زول ما تنوم ساكت هاي شوف الناس ديل الناس ديل اللي بقولوا ليل لا نهار هاي محور المالحة المحور الشمالي هاي شغل نظيف شغل نوعي هاي ده هو البيان بالعمل البيان بالعمل ها انت شفته ها مولع والله العظيم ناس زي البيوض ما عارف جايين منين من الجزائر من مصر من تركيا ما معروف لكن خلاص انقطع فوق US and Canadian warships sailed through the Taiwan Strait on Sunday almost a week after China held massive war games around Taiwan
The destroyer USS Higgins and the Canadian frigate HMCS Vancouver made a routine transit of the Taiwan Strait meant to uphold the principle of freedom of navigation for all countries, read a statement Monday by the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet. The U.S. Navy, occasionally joined by ships from allied countries, regularly transits the sensitive waterway separating China from Taiwan. China condemned the maneuver, saying it undermined peace and stability in the region. China claims Taiwan as its own territory. China's People's Liberation Army's Eastern Theater Command said it mobilized naval and air forces to monitor the transit of the U.S. and Canadian ships, in accordance with the law. The transiting ships navigated through waters where high seas freedom of navigation and overflight apply in accordance with international law, read the U.S. Navy 7th Fleet Statement. The international community's navigational rights and freedoms in the Taiwan Strait should not be limited, it added. It comes after China conducted large-scale military exercises surrounding Taiwan and its outlying islands last Monday, simulating the sealing off of key ports in a move that underscores the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait.